Right, here we are again. Let's get this beast to bits. I mean, this sits on the uh, lathe bed and you've got an adjuster here to, what would you call it, the XY axis. You can adjust slightly. Can't really do much about the up and down, but uh, anyway, let's get it to bits. Yeah, this does separate from this. Well, I'm not sure how. Need some more screwdrivers. No, another screwdriver for that one. A little bit of an adjustment on the screwdriver to make it fit. But as yet, I don't really know how this does or doesn't work. So. I'm hoping these come out and this will slide off, but. Same, so I don't think they're sided. I would have expected this to move a bit. Needs a bit of a tap. shims in here. Looks like someone shimmed this to get it dead right. I'm sure this should be moving a bit easier than this one. Huh? Right, I should give this a little bit of a squirt with some WD and just see if anything eases up.
Right, we'll leave that for a while. See if we can. Might even pop down and have a look at the internet. See if I know find out how these come to bits. Oh, I've moved on a bit. <coughs> I've, um, I've taken the actual. What's the name out? That just. You just unscrew this out of the. Uh, what would you call it? The actual main towel stock in and outer. I mean that's on a. That's got a little um, keyway in there, which is this screw here. But I just cannot get that undone to get that out. Not that I need to, but I'd like to have had a good look at it, see what sort of condition it's in. The main thing is the clamp that holds the uh, towel stock when you, if you want to clamp it once you've wound it to where you get to. I've got no idea how this comes out. If um, there was a little washer on here, just on the top here, I'll do a close up of it. I can only assume that this whole thing is pressed into here in one go. I mean, it, because it moves slightly. It moves quite a lot now. I did WD it up and it just pulls out so it was just stuck so there you go so that's out that's handy right the um, the bottom that I was having trouble getting off if you have a look at this casting this bit here sticks out so there's no way that can slide straight on and off so what it does do is you have to slide it on or off whichever way you're going it's still a bit dirty but you slide it right over yeah I've got it stuck again clean it up a bit more but basically it slides it lifts off and then you slide it back the other way over this bit of the casting to get it off so it was shimmed I don't know if you can see these the shims I'll do a close-up of them but I've left them in order the way they came off of it So I'm just going to try and get all this paint off of here now, clean everything up and respray this. Right, well that's it rubbed down, giving the tin a good shake. Doing it with this. Rest of the green. <clears throat> RAL6011. Supposed to be the right gear. Got it masked up. Off we go.
think that'll do it. Let that go right off now and reassemble it. Well, as luck would have it, my card ran out while I was doing that. Anyway, the tower stock is all back together. Not exactly as good as new, but it's perfectly serviceable and looked considerably better than it did even before the fire, to be honest with you. 
So that can be put somewhere now. Go and stand it up. Go and stand up past. So I'll put that aside now until I get the rest of it done. I'm uh, not going to be about for the next two or three weeks. I'm going away for a week and I've got to get on with my kitchen and do other stuff. So it's probably going to be two or three weeks before I um, get a chance to put another video out. But I will be getting on with stuff, hopefully, and filming it. So I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Mind how you go. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.